Hey guys, what's up? Leader Havoc here. This is the second part to my TV missile gun. Uh, three things today that uh, this video is going to go over is when to use the four basic TV missile shots, which is, I showed in my last video of TV missile guide number one, uh, how the TV exactly flies, and the effects of bouncing the TV. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the first video and let you guys take a look at that. Alright guys, in this clip I did the basic jab shot. All I did was let the TV missile fly straight. I let that the enemy chopper do all the work by flying right into it. When I got to the end of the shot, I seen it was going to be a little high, so I just slightly readjusted and slammed it into him. Moving on to the next shot, which will be the hook shot. Now this shot is really good for uh, hiding your location. If you're flying low and you don't want to see, if you don't want the enemy to see where the TV actually come from, just in case you miss, it'll give your location away. Uh, you can hook it around something, come up, pop them when they're not looking. A lot of times they won't be moving. If they're uh, if they're really high up hovering, let the gunner do all the work, then uh, this is a really easy way to take them down. All right, moving on to the next shot, which is the uh, uppercut. With the uppercut or the underbelly shot, it's easily to take out your opponent without them seeing the TV missile. It's best used when they're above you or at the same level as you and they're dodging frequently. Uh, or if they're just rushing you. If they're rushing you, you can put it in them without you know, them even seeing it. So uh, that's your uppercut underbelly shot. I line it up uh, with the top of my box on my crosshairs and uh, just keep the target in your screen at all times. Now moving on to the top down shot. So last shot's top down shot. It's a harder shot to make as I talked about in the first video, but it's a um, harder shot for the enemy pilot to see. A lot of times when you shoot it, the hitbox on top of the chopper will completely screw it and the missile will not even register. Alright guys, in the, those two clips I just showed, you can see the TV missile flies regardless if you're in it or not after it's launched. So you can exit the TV at any time by pressing E. Now once you exit the TV, it'll continue on its path, taking out whatever you aimed it at at the first place. Now, the bad thing about this is the TV missile, uh, you can't adjust for movement. While you can't enter the TV missile after you've done shot it. So once you press E that one time, it's, it's on its way. But the good thing is you can follow it with guns. If you look at this video, you can see that uh, the TV missile actually disables the tank. Now this tank had full reactive at full health, so there's a good chance that this will happen. Just another reason why to bounce it. Uh, that's the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll uh, try to upload another one here pretty soon, and my next one will be something along the lines of how to kill jets with TVs.